This is amazing. We're in the suit up room. I mean, I remember this back in 2009 when I was sitting in Lazy Boys from back in the Apollo era, but they have these really cool new suits and new seats that they're they're working in here. So yeah, it's so amazing to see this first live look in the room. There's astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley sitting in those seats, um, being helped by the suit technicians. Uh, this room was first used for the first Apollo mission, Apollo 7, um, that they suited up in there in 1968. And there they are uh, giving a thumbs up. That looks like Doug giving a thumbs up there. Oh, here they come. Oh, here they are. Here wow. they come. NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley. They've each made this journey twice before for the space shuttle missions, but they've never done this in a SpaceX spacesuit. They've never done this together, and they've never done this on their way to head to a commercially built rocket and spacecraft to head to space. Where we always looking? could see it briefly on the shot, but the uh, they, the license plate says ISS VND, ISS bound. Oh, you nice, follow? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully they will be today. We just need the weather to say. Into making this incredible, this incredible moments happen for, for everybody. You guys have started on schedule. Um, we see them signing. Looks like they're signing something in there right now. Yeah, we give them a black Sharpie to sign the white room. It's starting a new tradition. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't do that. That's nice. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good tradition. Yeah. So right now what the crew, the, the suit technicians are doing is they're strapping the crew's feet into these restraints that the boots sit inside of. They're then going to close those five-point harnesses um, around them. I know, Leland, you talked about some of the, the harnessing that you had in the past with the shuttle. Yeah, I mean, this is such a more sleek design where there's one point to plug in to get cooling, communications, and, and everything. And, I, you know, we had a five-point harness. We, you know, had these hoses and things all over the place. But I think this is a much more streamlined uh, look into the future of space. And now that the hatch is closed, um, a lot of the a lot of the work of this team is is done, but I mean they're they're obviously not finished. They're not ready to leave the white room just yet. You were you were talking to some folks about what's going on in this room now. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, they should be completing the hatch leak check. Uh, that's you sort of pressurize that area between. Uh, there's two O rings that are there, and uh, we want to pressurize that area, see if it holds pressure. It's a very very uh, sensitive test very high um, criteria for passing. And so once that leak check is shown to be okay and that the capsule or that those O-rings are able to hold pressure, uh, what the team will do is they'll go back uh, into that area, into that access panel and install what we call the SPEP, which, this, which is the side pressure equalization plug. Um, once that is plugged, you've really closed everything up. And when the crew splashes down, what they'll actually do is pull that plug to equalize pressure across the hatch so that you don't cause the hatch to buckle due to a pressure, or sorry, the hatch or the, the capsule, the weldment, any of the vehicle to buckle due to a pressure different, differential. So they should be adding that plug, and then they'll cover up that side hatch access panel with the TPS panel or thermal protection system panel, close it up, and that'll make sure it stays safe on ascent. Heard the call, the crew access arm retraction is underway. Great view from the camera inside the white room. As we see the arm moving away from the Dragon capsule, one of the major events necessary to get down to T0. The next one coming up will be arming of the escape system on the Dragon capsule. Now, right now, the next. And Dragon SpaceX, unfortunately, um, 
We are not going to launch today. You are go for 5.100 launch scrub. 5.100, it was a good effort by the teams and we understand and we'll uh, meet you.